So good afternoon to all of you, and I welcome you all for this uh, communicative English class. We all know about communication; it's not something new to us. But how do we communicate effectively with less words, but the expression should be very effective? I will start with an example or a story. Okay. Uh, before that, we have three people here from our side. I am Kesav Murthy. I am from Coimbatore, and another person by name Amuda. She is an English teacher again from Coimbatore. The third person is also Amuda. She is from Bangalore. She is our coordinator. In fact, four of us, one person Annapurni will join maybe after one or two classes. So we share the load between us. I will be the most of the. Uh, I will be the coordinator, or I will be the kind of a leader. Whereas the actual class will be taken by Amuda and Annapurni. Okay. So now communication, effective communication, and professional communication. So I said I will uh, start with uh, an example. Now I start with an example. Suppose you have a housemaid in your home. She comes. So she has. She is supposed to come for 26 days out of 30 days. She can take a leave one day per week. That is the agreement between you and the housemaid. But she often takes a leave. and you are actually uh, telling her that at the end of the month you have taken longer more number of days leave so i you uh, know i cannot pay you the full salary or i will pay full salary for this month from next month onwards i will uh, cut the salary or you are actually reprimanding her because of her not coming for the uh, work for the housemaid you know maid work this is one way of communicating if you say that you are coming you are not coming many days this is one way of telling the communicating with that person uh, the other way of communicating is that if you say you have not come for 9 days out of 30 days you have taken leave for 9 days out of 30 days if you say say that which will be more effective is the first one or the second one first one i am saying you have taken more number of days leave and uh, i may have to cut salary from next month onwards this is one statement in the second statement another uh, you know situation you are saying that you have taken 9 days leave in a month and again the same thing that you know i may have to uh, i may be forced to cut the salary next month onwards which one will be more effective i am asking you which one will be more effective the first one or the second one which one will correct her behavior to some extent what is the possibility of she getting corrected or she not taking uh, leave more number of days in the next month is it not the second one so whenever you talk with somebody you try to talk with statistically you try try to talk with your mother or sister or your customer or your supplier statistically when you talk then people may listen to you when you say statistical she will now calculate have i taken 9 days leave she will count in her head and then tell you it is only 8 days it is not 9 days you may be wrong or she may be wrong that doesn't matter the very fact that you made her to calculate the number of days she has taken leave will make some change in the behavior the first point in the communication is that you have to talk statistically in your company situation also when you say lot of things are getting rejected instead of saying lot of things are getting rejected you go and tell them 23% of our goods got rejected in the last lot if you say that it will have a better outcome for you as well as for him he may make sure that it will bring he will try to bring down from 23% to some other lesser percentage things like that so one is for example mafa pandi rajan have you heard of this man all of you mafa pandi rajan yes when he was in the cabinet of uh, jailer the anna dmk cabinet he used to talk statistically even now anna malai a politician bjp president why do we like him he talks a lot of statistics we listen to him even common man listens to him because he talks statistics so you need to keep in your mind whenever you want to communicate with somebody you have some statistics with you 
then only that correction whichever you are expecting correction will happen will there be 100% correction definitely not even if there is a 5% correction it's a very good you know you can call yourself you have done the job even internationally through communication you can bring in correction to the extent of 12 to 13% maybe in the indian context it will be hardly about 7 or 8% but if you can bring in for the uh, no 7 or 8% for the first instance second instance it could be 3 or 4% over a period of time let us say over a period of 1 or 2 years you can see a significant change a significant re reduction in the your rejection a significant reduction in the number of days they are taking leave that is also it's quite possible so one which we need to look at is statistically we need to communicate the second thing i i'm just going to make only two or three points then later on uh, amuda madam will continue the second thing is we need to be a good listener you need to listen to the other person suppose if they he wants to say something there could be a lot of rubbish also when he says something but there could be one or two good points also he may say many things this and that will say but at one point of the he said the lubricant of the machine is not okay he may say this word in the midst of about 100 words he may say one or two words the lubrication for the machine is not sufficient we have we have not lubricated it for the last maybe two months or three months that is a nice point for you if you are a leader if you are a, a line supervisor then it makes sense okay the lubrication is not okay if you correct that uh, lubrication probably your productivity will go up like this among the 10 sentences at the utters one or two sentences may be more useful like for example your child comes from the school back home at about 4:35 suppose you are at home or your mother is at home see immediately as soon as the child comes the child will come back and embrace the mother or grandmother katti pudichukuvanga she keep on uttering i mean when she was in third standard fourth standard fifth standard, she keeps on uttering what all happened in this class in the school on that day there was some homework there was some play there was some uh, somebody hit her somebody stolen her uh, i mean uh, uh, pencil all these things will be there in addition to that she will say i have to do a homework in tamil i have to do a drawing in uh, uh, bio biology like that she will say the mother or grandmother will give her tea or coffee or some snacks and the the girl or the boy or the child goes out for play comes back at 637 and grandmother or mother will remind her today you have tamil homework today you have a drawing work for biology how she is able to say she is reminding the child that you have these things to do how did she know a child may be wondering how my grandmother got to know all these things she has not come to the school but she got to know all these things how did she come to know the child has uttered something so grandmother listened to it properly and she was taking a note in her mind so that she can remind that particular person so you have to listen you should be a good listener then only you can bring in changes in the child child behavior or you may be able to make her to do the homework etc the third point which i wanted to make the trust between you and your employer or you and your uh, you know, uh, subordinate if we trust you definitely we listen to you if he does not trust you probably the listening will be very poor so he has to trust how does trust come in trust has to be developed you have to earn a trust between your employer and you or your subordinate and you you have to earn it is not a one day affair it may be over a period of time you have said something you have promised something eight out of 10 times you have fulfilled the promise then you have trust builds like that maybe 2 out of 10 you could not pro, you know, uh, keep your promise due to various reasons it, it may be you may understand it so that you have to build the trust normally the child believes that trust the mother than the father you know why child trust the mother so very much much more than the father because the father most of us generally gents know we tend to lie little lie, more lie we do like we may over a phone we may say something which is not exactly what is happening at home right all these things the child observes so the trust between the mother and the father when I mean, mother and the child is much stronger than the uh, father and the child i mean it's not always true there are exceptions that is a different issue but generally 
generally the trust is very bad so with these three important points that is listening and statistically talking to our employer subordinates or the boss suppose you rejected boss is asking what the hell is happening and you tell him that these are things happened that is why our rejection rate is about 23 percent but had we solved these out of these 10 problems three or four problems it would have come down to 19 percent or 18 percent if you talk like this statistically even your boss will listen to you the boss which normally may not listen to you but if you talk statistically will they listen to you have you got that experience with you in your uh, in your uh, uh, employment or anywhere here or there you would have seen or you just recall the boss will listen to you when you talk statistically second is you need to listen to your boss sometimes you know or to your subordinate then only you can reply properly so listening is another aspect and then the trust between you and the subordinate particularly the trust between you and your subordinate or between you and your boss it will be between your like your mother in law and the you know, daughter in law the trust between them also makes a lot of difference right i think you would have seen by experience in your life i mean it's not something new it's not something which we don't know but i touch upon these three points now i request uh, amuda madam to start the actual the, uh, class she will give a small introduction about uh, ignite young minds and then you'll st start the class madam amuda madam yes, the sir. floor is yes, yours sir. yes <laughs> thank you very much sir uh, thank you uh, first uh, uh, introduction sir you have given a very good uh, you know ice breaking session i think you all enjoyed sir's uh, message like it's like a, you know whenever we start we love to start with ice breaking session only so sir has uh, you know started that anyway thank you very much Sir. So, igniting young mind. Uh, it's like uh, a social service organization. Uh, I came to know sir uh, through you know my WhatsApp group only uh, two years before I came to know. So, uh, after uh, seeing so much uh, service uh, he is doing for the society, I thought oh, I can also you know involve uh, you know in sir's uh, organization. That's why my uh, you know yeah, beginning started with sir. So, igniting young mind. Uh, we are doing social service. Um, for you know uh, tnpc exam and then uh, downtrodden people and the small children we are taking uh, spoken english class even we are taking spoken tamil class spoken hindi class so all these things are uh, benefited for the children and downtrodden people also so with that uh, you know we have started this and uh, hope uh, you know igniting young mind uh, will grow and now we have started this uh, session for the uh, employees uh, like you uh, actually, uh, two years before we have started, I, you know, with uh, SAR's uh, guidance, uh, offline I went and, uh, you know, uh, taken, uh, you know, classes like uh, you people. But now I am taking uh, online classes for you. So, I hope you will enjoy with me. Uh, we will travel in this, uh, you know, uh, another uh, six weeks. So, we will, I, I, only I am not going to talk, you are going to talk. So, let me introduce about myself. Uh, my name is Samuda. Uh, I'm living in Coimbatore uh, near Saravanam Patti and uh, I worked as a senior HR executive for more than 14 years. So as an employee relation, so I know uh, about, uh, you know, employee, you know, uh, all this uh, mindset and other things. So with that uh, experience, I thought I will also have a good rapport with you. And, uh, you know, after, uh, you know, working 14 years, uh, you know, I started, you know, to, you know, take up the freelancing, like uh, taking online and offline spoken English and spoken uh, Tamil classes. So I am continuing like this. Thank you, sir, for giving this opportunity. So now uh, this is not only me um, going to talk and you are also going to talk. So then only, you know, our session will be more uh, interactive. So we will have a good rapport among ourselves. So I already introduced about myself. So I want your introduction also. If one by one, if you introduce, no, you know, we will have, you know, I can call by your name uh, also. It will have more rapport. So can you please introduce about yourself uh, one by one? Then we'll start the class. Introduction is very important. So while you are introducing... Yeah, you I just want to interfere here, Ramuda, madam. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, all the people who are here, it is going to be an English to English class. We won't yeah, yeah. be using even a single word in other language. English, learning English through English or learning French through French or learning Spanish through Spanish is considered to be the most effective way of learning and uh, you know, communication. So yeah. here we will be talking in English and you also can reply in English. Doesn't matter 
no uh, doesn't matter how good you are how bad you are that no, no botheration you can start introducing yourself yeah so we we'll start with brinda yeah. madam yes sir i'm brinda i'm taking care of hr and admin i have seven years experience in this company that's it sir for today are you able to hear from that yes, distance my, uh, yes 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 okay yes yes people can come here Our people who are sitting behind, uh, you know, maybe uh, we will not be able to hear. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, ma'am. I am Chinnu Swami, Accounts Department. I am Accounts. Uh, past two years, two years experience in the same company. Okay, thank you. I am Satish Kumar. I am here checking quality control. Last four years working here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Myself, Pakistan. I'm working in. I'm working last three years here. I'm a contractor. Myself, I'm Rajesh Kumar. I'm working in Pajas Executive. Myself, I'm very happy. I'm forty years. Forty years. Yeah, when we when we introduce, we can yeah. uh, uh, carry on. We can complete the sentence instead yeah. of saying I am accounts. I am working yeah. as accounts officer, or I am working as accounts assistant, something like that. Now you can complete the full sentence. Myself, Arish Kumar. I am working in ERP executive. Last one year experience. My name is Murli. Back in the chair, last uh, two years of experience. Yeah, what the mandir board of president mandir board, ma? Huh? The demands are the important in the five years of experience. Three years of experience. Just a simple question. My name is Murli. Forty years. Forty years. Not not able to hear clearly. Please, if you speak now, I can hear. Good evening, sir. This is Monisha. I am from Kadlu district. Now I am working in Ozu. Um, I have last five months experience in freedom company. Okay. I am working in marketing department, sir. Thank you. See, your introduction is quite a little different and quite uh, professional. She said, "Good evening." First of all, she greeted everybody. And then she started saying so something like that. A professional way of introducing yourself can you can try. Good evening, sir. I am Sangeeta. Last four years experience. I am working in secondary packing. Fifteen years Good evening, everyone. Myself, I am Musha Rani. I have experience of five years as a executive. Right now, I am working in this freedom family uh, since one year. I am working as an export executive. Okay. Mukhala. Yeah, carry on, uh, Amadamad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, one more person. What's that? One more person. Huh? Yeah, one more person is there. I think. But uh, cannot see that. Can you see? We are not going to see. No, I think we didn't hear. You can come here. You can come here. Only we can see. You know his face. Yeah, he's uh, holding the laptop. <laughs> What happened? Some problem, ah? Huh? Internet problem? Hello. Yeah, some disconnection is there, I think. Uh -uh.
Now we can go to the slides, madam. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, once they come, yeah, once they come. Uh -uh. Go ahead, Amuda, madam. Yes, sir. One minute. Um, we are not getting. Okay. One minute. One minute. One minute. I'm just trying. Okay. Sir, can you share it? I'm not able to share it. I don't have your file, no. Oh, I sent it to you. Okay. No, I'm just thinking. Why I'm not? Anyway, till that time, I will just uh, you know, share one slide of uh, mine, uh, mm. the madam. Yes, sir. So, so this is. See, these are the magic words in English. Are you able to see the screen, all of you? Hello. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. So these are the magic words in English. These four magic words. It is really a magic word. We often use these words. Thank you. Sorry. Excuse me. And please. But then how often we use this? Many a times we don't use it consciously. So if we can use this consciously as much time as possible, then you can become a better speaker. This is one shortcut you can keep in your mind. As and when you need to use thank you or sorry or excuse me or please, if you keep on using this as frequently as possible, then your English will become more sweeter. Right? So, this is, are you ready, madam? Yes, sir. Uh, I will just uh, talk to them. Yeah. Not a problem. Not a yeah. problem. I, I stop my sharing. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, see, um, uh, actually, you don't have to, you know, worry about, you know, how to talk like that. So, like Sar said, English through uh, English, correct, no? So, our methodology is, uh, you know, creative thinking and then we will have to, uh, you know, be, uh, you know, we will be showing some pictures and other things. So, like that, you know, we will start our uh, session. So, English is something, you know, uh, when we start uh, talking, automatically it will come. You don't have to worry about... Uh, all these things, uh, you know, when we start talking, uh, you know, first uh, you will have a fear like, uh, you know, uh, what is that, you know, how we are talking like that. So, why English is essential? Can anybody uh, tell why it is so essential? What is the reason why we are all learning English? See, we all know English. When we, you know, when we study itself, we studied in English medium and then even when we study in Tamil medium also, we studied uh, English, we have taken a subject, even till college, we have studied in English medium. So, while uh, studying, you know, somewhat we, uh, we understood the concept and then uh, we learned and then we have, uh, you know, concluded our uh, degree also. Now, when we are uh, really, when the uh, workplace, when we want to talk, uh, definitely why we are uh, facing so much of problem. So, why it is essential? So, can anybody can tell why it is so essential? I want, uh, you know, people to talk, <laughs> uh, then it will have more interaction. Any one person? Okay, I myself will talk, <laughs> then uh, we will go. I think slowly, slowly we will get a wrap up. So, it is a global language. So, we are having uh, different uh, background people we are living and then we are connected with uh, so many people. So, when we have, when we want, uh, even in the business, in travel or wherever we are going out, so English is very much needed. What is uh, very important means communicating with people who, who speak different native languages. People are uh, speaking, uh, you know, in a different native language. So, we will have to understand them. Like Sar said very clearly, Communication, it is not one way. It is uh, it is a process by where uh, your information is exchanged between the uh, others. So, when others are communicating with you, you will have to understand what they are communicating to you. Then only you can be able to 
answer them. So this is, you know, uh, when we know the language only, it is very easy to communicate with others. Do you agree with me or not? At least you can say yes or no, no? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, let me uh, take... Uh, so for everything, uh, we need... Uh, main thing is LSRW is a concept. What do you mean by LSRW? Already Sarah has uh, talked about uh, LS. Listening. Listening is very, very important uh, while uh, we are uh, talking. So when we, whenever we listen, it is a... Uh, uh, madam, madam, one minute, one minute. Yes, uh, are you able to see the screen? All of you? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Not able to see oh, you are not able to see the screen? One minute, one minute. I'll just Maybe I shared, uh, di I didn't share, no sir. No, I have shared one. Okay. Are you able to see the screen now? Yes, sir. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes. So, English course from Igniting Young Minds. Yes. That is the title. Yes, sir. So, Amada Madam, I will just continue for a while. Okay. Sir. Okay. So the the methodology that we follow is English through English. That is the methodology we will follow, and we will try to speak little creatively. I mean, I told statistically, but little creatively also you can speak, and then writing also is equally important because that will be an activity which we will be covering here, and then state of the art methodology. It means that nowadays we are actually communicating through email and WhatsApp messages. How do we communicate through email and WhatsApp messages? That also we will be trying to cover. Okay. So, I will go to the next slide. Uh, now you can explain, madam. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, for everything, no, we will have to start with uh, uh, listening, uh, speaking, reading and writing. So, I already explained about listening. I will also talk about what is listening. See, I will just tell you, it is the first mode of communication, uh, you know, when we talk about everything with traveling. See, we listen for, uh, you know, with many people. We will be listening, listening, listening. So, once we listen, we will start uh, speaking. See, for example, when we are uh, small, uh, you know, how we started speaking? Immediately, we didn't start speaking, no? We were listening, listening, what my, our papa was, uh, you know, talking, what our mama, mama was talking, what our grandmother was talking. So, all these things and all, we started listening. Then, we were starting imitating uh, with others. Like, you say, amma, then you also will say, mama, like, appa, like, grandmother, granddaughter, like that, you know. In, in our mother uh, tongue, we would have uh, started uh, listening first, then slowly, slowly, we were, we were started uh, speaking. So, that is the uh, Im imitation. So, when we start uh, listening, automatically we will try to speak also. So, uh, while uh, beginning itself, we never, you know, uh, come with uh, English. So, nobody taught you grammar and other things. But slowly, slowly, we started listening with uh, everybody at home. Then only we learned the language. So, then from uh, listening only, we started speaking. So, speaking, uh, how it comes... One second, so, madam. Uh, one second. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Adikalam, you can switch off your mic for a while. While talking, you can switch on. Mr. Adikalam? Yes, sir. One second. Yeah, you just switch on, switch off your mic. Then whenever you want to talk, you can switch on. Ah, right. Now the that sound won't come. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, speaking is also very important. When you listen only, you start speaking. So, same thing. You start, we already started listening so many things, then slowly we will start speaking. So, both listening and speaking is uh, verbal communication. We are verbally, we are talking. Okay. So, both the things uh, we started learning means, and reading and writing uh, will be, you know, vice versa. So, when once we start writing, we will start reading also. So, this is the main uh, concept we will have to understand uh, in this uh, language. So, what we are doing now, we are just, uh, you know, thinking and then we know how to talk. Everybody knows how to talk. But, you know, if you talk, you know, somebody will, uh, you know, laugh at you or, uh, you know, uh, you know, something will be wrong. All these things, uh, it will be in your mind. Am I correct or not? Correct, no? 
so that is the reason we are not able to speak so when we start talking we love to talk what we have in our mind suddenly we love to talk that is called open talk whatever we have in our mind we love to talk openly so then automatically all our uh, you know communication will uh, you know go uh, you know in fluently so fluency is very very important confident and fluency is very very important we are not asking you to you know use uh, you know very high fi english see simple english we will start off see for example you want to reach on uh, two different a uh, point a to point b you want to uh, go so either you can use a car or you are fancy car or either you can use your you can use bus or anything main thing is like where how we are reaching so uh, car or fancy car the car itself is enough so like that we don't need fancy car like we don't need high fi english but we need uh, you know simple english to just communicate with others that uh, kind of uh, you know uh, learning is uh, initially we will do then slowly slowly we will go for uh, you know higher level of english first uh, you know communication is very very important same thing like we said uh, l s r w i think we all know about it but still i am insisting listening is very very important before communicating to others and uh, once you started listening uh, you can start speaking also then slowly reading and writing will come vice versa so this is very very important so you will have to you know start listening and uh, start uh, speaking so maybe first class you will be wondering what to talk then here after you are only going to talk and then i am going to listen so it it, it is a vice versa not only me talking that is called communication okay so when you communicate with others you can actually you can influence others okay in english it you can influence with other people that is very very important so that kind of trick we are going to learn and uh, one more thing is like if you see the you know while we are talking no uh, verbal is just a 7 percentage only but body language only is a 55 percentage and uh, uh, you know tone how we are talking that tone is also very important so all these things we love to use it in our communication okay so this is very very important and uh, you know and uh, next slide sir okay so this is uh, before 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 slide okay previous slide yeah when you communicate you can uh, you know uh, harmony uh, you know with like see uh, what is that means when you are communicating you you can you know like uh, get a uh, influence with others and then you can get a uh, good confident for all the things what you have to do practice practice makes a man perfect so how you can practice you will be wondering when i go home uh, everybody is talking in tamil you know when you start talking in english now people will laugh at you what is this now new thing you are uh, learning why are you talking in english all these things i think we might have heard why are you talking in english why uh, you know what happened to you you can talk in tamil like that so you will have to find the, either you can find the partner for yourself you know among yourself in the group or you do one thing you just go and close the door in your bedroom and then see the mirror and then start talking so nobody you know will imitate you so you can do like this also so anyway if you start practicing only it will come just uh, you know i want to speak english i want to speak english all these things if you say no uh, you know you cannot uh, speak so practice only by practice only uh, you know you can be able to talk so this is very very important uh, uh, amuda the- madam i yes, i'll just join uh, for a moment okay, okay? sir uh, see here uh, as we said we will be talking english through english the second is we will be all of you will be talking for a minute in each class you will be talking for a minute on any subject of your interest one minute you will talk and mm. all others will listen to the talk and then they can give their feedback when i say feedback you no know, if there is any error or if there is any uh, uh, you know uh, inappropriate words or if you find some appropriate more appropriate words you can you can express so all if 20 people are there they will take each one minute and speak for a uh, on any subject of your interest okay i mean not this class next class we will do that that is one secondly how we were going to do is one is minute a member it is called minute a member 
then we will touch upon little bit of grammar like for example what do we mean by adjective or what do we mean by noun when we should use an adjective when we should use a adverb something like that no i am just giving an example these are some things which we will do and third important thing in each class we do all these three then in the third we will give a situation and then and the situation will make you to talk it can be a, a situation it can be a case study wherein you will be expressing your views on that particular subject so that is the third three things these three things we will uh, we will uh, comprise uh, our one hour will be comprise of all these three things okay today i am going to tell you a situation all of you please try to give a solution for this problem it is a problem which i am going to amada madam i'll just continue no. if you don't no, mind no, okay uh, no i am going to give you a case study all of you listen to my case study and you will be giving solution to that case study each one of you can come to the mic or whoever is very near to the mic they can talk or all of you can give your case study or uh, give your solution like this this case study goes like this there is a departmental store and it's a very big departmental store owner sits in the galla that is cashier or owner is a cashier he sits in the cash counter and a lot of sales is happening lot of people come in and come go out end of the day at about 8:30 9 they find they do little bit of stock taking Uh, and then they find that something or other stolen every day they find that something or other is stolen the, in the stock the, it's not uh, uh, perfect one or two things are missing and the owner is worried and then uh, he appointed one guard security guard just for this purpose his aim is his uh, job of the security guard is to catch the person who is stealing so he will be observing all the customers or whoever comes in who goes to the counters etc and then whoever is trying to steal he has to catch them and bring to the owner that is the instruction given to the security guard security guard came on the first day he was observing nothing happened second day he is observing nothing happened third day he found one boy of age around 10 he is trying to take something and put in his pocket he is taking something and uh, he is put in is uh, trying to put in a pocket that time the security guard went and caught that boy on behind from behind he caught the boy and then he wanted to take the boy to the owner to the cash cash counter because he has caught that boy but while taking the boy to the cash counter he found the boy is son of the owner the security guard to his surprise he found the boy is none other than the son of the owner now if you are the security guard what will you do each one of you can give this uh, no uh, you can talk each one of you i understood uh, i mean i hope you understood the situation am i correct i repeat the uh, case study once again there is a departmental store a quite a big department store something or other is stolen every day and the owner is little bit worried after some time he appointed a security guard gave him an, him an instruction that he has to catch the person who is stealing something and then bring that man to the uh, owner this is the instruction given to him one day he he found that one boy is trying to steal and try to put in his pocket he went and caught him uh, from his back and then he is trying to take security guard trying to take him to the owner that time he he found to his surprise the boy is the son of the owner if you are the security guard what you will do you have to explain in english hope i have made the case case study clear to you situation i have given now you try to explain now suppose you are the security guard what will you do i will definitely complain you will definitely complain to can, can you say complete the sentence you can you complete the sentence Explain in English. Complete sentences. Complete sentences. No, you you complete the sentence exactly. in English. We don't speak Tamil at all. We speak only in English. English through English is the methodology. But now you, if you are a security guard, what will you do? Yeah. Yes, I I will definitely come. Uh, complain to my sorry, complain that son told that uh, things. you said no i definitely complain to my owner okay Because i mean you are saying you will go and complain to the owner am i correct 
Will you take the boy or without taking the boy? With taking the boy. Ah, now you complete the sentence. I will go and complain. Um, with taking that boy to face uh, my owner. So I will I will re re word it. I catch the boy, take him to the owner, and complain about him. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Am I correct? I yes, catch the boy while stealing yes, and take the boy to the owner along with that item. The item also no. You should not keep the item in the shelf and go. Along with the item, I go and uh, complain to the owner. Now you repeat that. Repeat it. Can I you repeat it now? Boy? Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, please. I catch that boy mm. and go along. Uh, I I will go to my owner along with that thing what which which he stole. That is okay, sir. You assume that it happened just now. You caught the boy. From then onwards, what you will do? You tell in the present status. Right, you are the security. Yes, sir. Right now, you I are. I catch the boy. No, take five. Yes, sir. I catch the boy and go al along with which thing he told and. Yes, sir. Correct. I will not say. Correct. Complete. Yes. Complete. No, no. Whatever it is, right or wrong, it's not the question of right or wrong. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The situation is just for speaking okay. English. Okay. <laughs> I catch that boy along with thing he is done. I go and I go and yeah, uh, you go and uh, complain to the owner. Am I correct? Suppose I am the boy. <laughs> I am saying, uh, sir, I just I was just looking at it. That's all. I was not uh, no. Uh, I was looking at it. I was not taking away and going out of the door. I was just there, standing in front of the shelf. That time, this man came and caught me. So, what will you say to now to the owner? Ah, uh, anybody else? Not necessarily that madam. Anybody else? The boy says, "I was just look trying to look at this." That time, the security guard came and uh, you know uh, uh, caught me on the back, and he brought me here. I was not trying to steal like that. He says. So if you are security okay. guard, okay. what will be so like? Okay. Okay. Now one more suggestion. Uh, here, this we are concentrating on the communication. Communication is the uh, yeah, yeah. Communication is important. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, 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 the information is very very important. The secondary is the English skill also important. Correct. See, I am creating a situation so that you can talk easily. The situation is created. So yeah. that you will be tempted to talk. Yeah. What, what I have suggested is um, we have to improve our communication methodology, right? To express what is the right one. So, so you, if you are very, yeah. if you are not good in English right now, right? You can communicate in Tamil, right? Tell what is exactly so that the sentence is clearly formed. Your mind is getting clearly defined. Right, your uh, methodology is getting clear. Then after that, you can come. You can try to convert into English and communicate. Right. So your I find this gap. Your communication also is a weak, and your English skill also is weak. Two aspect. After observation, two aspect. So what do you do with the English improvement? So there are the Google and everything. There is a common mistakes in English. Simple common mistakes in English. There are a lot of things. If you just spend like a 10-15 minutes of an hour, right, go through that the common mistakes in English, you will improve, right? But communicate in the right sense. That's not you have to learn to know, right? So that was very that's most important for us. So now you can. Whatever you get. Yeah, go ahead. So whatever you wanted, you communicate with the clear sentence. What are the language you do? Then you can focus on the English. So the boy says, yes, I was just looking at the item. I was not trying to steal. I was just looking at the item. 
But if you are a security guard, what will you say to the owner? You caught that boy because he was trying to put inside the pocket. He is trying to put inside the pocket. No. Somebody have to come and speak. If you are sitting back and the yeah, yeah. One, one of you can come and speak. See, he, the boy is trying to put in his pocket. That is the most important thing. Then only that that is why the security guard went and caught him. So the security guard has to tell the owner, sir, I saw the boy putting the item into his pocket, uh, not on the tray. He was trying to put in the pocket. That is why I brought him here. So this will be his uh, his answer. It could be. There's one of the possible answers. Now we are not bothered about whether the answer is right or wrong. We are, that is not. But how do you answer? That is the most important thing. Okay, now I will take uh, Brinda Madam. Like, okay, Brinda Madam is the security guard. I am the owner. I am saying, Brinda Madam, you are the security guard, and my son taking some item in my shop. Do you do you think it is it is stealing? Do you think it is equivalent to stealing? I am asking this question. He is my son, and he is taking in my shop. How do you how, how do you come to a conclusion? He is stealing. Rules is same for all, na. Rules is same for all. So definitely, I do that. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you complete sentence? Good, good. You complete the sentence. Full sentence you can complete. It's, it's a nice way of looking at things. Yes. Sorry, right, sir. We will uh, see next class. Okay. So, but but your see your thinking process is good. Only thing is you are not able to communicate in the in the full sentence because unless you okay. complete the sentence, it will not have an effect on. Uh, no, effective. It will not be effective. That is sir, a problem. Sir, give me a chance. I will complete. Sir, yeah. rule is rule. I will just tell the you know owner. Sir, rule is rule. Whether your son or whoever may be, rule is rule. So, uh, like you, you are advising. We have to follow the rules. So that's why I caught hold of your son. Is it correct, sir? Yeah. So that's right. The same thing. Whatever she said, that is the same thing. Now, if uh, if somebody okay, if uh, somebody else is the security guard. He does a warning to the boy. I mean, he does not want to catch that young boy, whether it's a owner's son or not. He does not want to. The security guard warns him, "Hey, don't do this like this. Next time, you should not take like this. Otherwise, I will go and give uh, catch you and go, go and uh, take you to the owner, and he will punish you or he will even call police." So he will say he does the warning and then he is leaving the boy. What kind of warning he can give? Suppose you decided to do warning. What kind of warning he can give? One of you, gents, you can come in front. Somebody come out. Just sit behind and they're doing nothing. And your thinking process is not yeah, getting yeah. improved. See yeah, what again, what he is trying to say. Again, yeah, what he is trying to say. We have a problem. So there are different solutions. The different way to look at it, the problem, right? to look at the issues right you want to select the right one what is the right one for that situation ultimately we got to select the right one the right one does not mean by the law the right one for the situations or the organization or the the home whatever you want what is the right one so how do That's you want it yeah correct now how do you because you decide to warn him you are a security guard how do you warn him one of you gents One of you, gents, you can uh, come, 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 come in the front. Anyway, we will, we will. Ah, uh, right. Carry on, carry on, sir. Carry on. Sir, if I am the security guard, if the person is very young, I can say to him, "You are a young person. But the thing what you did is not one, so you should not do like that." in case if you did the same thing in the future maybe i will got you and i will hand out to my uh, owner my owner may call the police or else he will call your parents it will affect your future so don't do like that in in here after like that i will just give some uh, what uh, soft warning to him okay okay i think it's it's a reason is good in explaining now i want somebody has to be a, uh, act like a boy Who will who wants to act like a boy? One of you can raise your hand. You are the boy. They can come to this chair near the mic. They can come to the chair near the mic. The boy. Who wants to act like a boy? 
one of you please come this, this is just a role model no, role role play only it's a role, role play. play role play yeah you one of you come to the chair right if you want to express you got to think without no, i will give you the, i will give you what to express that also yeah. i will give you uh, one of you please come one of the gents you are a boy and uh, don't be afraid be proactive no no even if it is wrong it is okay nothing wrong because i just wanted to complete this exercise that's the whole idea <laughs> sit down please yeah somebody i think has sat down no yeah yeah okay so you are a boy now that security guard excused you he, he warned you and then you went back home and you are narrating everything to your father you are a boy now you are going by normally a 10 year old boy they will narrate everything whatever happened on the same on that day to their father no normally you are going to narrate everything to the father how will you narrate yeah please Actually, i will talk to my dad in uh, i went to the shop actually what what uh, that happens means i took one uh, small things in uh, get into my pocket that uh, the time the security guard was saw the team uh, scene so that's why he will bring him to their owner so that uh, their uh, small warning is given to me like that i will so he did not take to the owner he has just warned and left him so he wanted the like boy is going narrating the whole thing whatever happened to the father okay Yeah, can you repeat again if you don't mind? I'll go to my dad and uh, I'll say that I went to the shop. In the shop, I took on small things. At that time, the shopkeeper or else that uh, security guard was saw. So that's why he will give some warnings to me to change this act, this kind of activities. Like that, I will tell to my dad. Okay, okay. Maybe you know you could have no. Just think, think over the situation. Nothing wrong. Like a real. Yeah. You, tell in the present tense. Directly acting. You can tell me as the dot. Right. You are sitting there. You you are telling that whatever is happened. Use I instead of having yes. Indirectly way saying. <coughs> yeah. Direct speech. Yeah. Anyway, never mind. Never mind. I think you, 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 uh, you tried your best. Nothing wrong in it. But uh, the, that if, if suppose, just imagine. Suppose you have gone and said the boy gone and said the father like this. What will happen to the security guard next day? Brinda, madam, what will happen to the security guard next day? Sorry. If you are a warner, if you are a warner, and you have, you heard from your son that you went there and uh, the security guard warned me. then i came home, uh, back home you are going and uh, the boy telling you you are uh, you are the owner telling everything to you next day what will you do with the owner with the security guard what will you talk with the security guard will you keep quiet will you keep quiet or will you talk to the security guard next day it's a appreciation only sir no that's what i'm saying what will you do i mean that's uh, no i am not uh, asking your what judgment I want you. No, I don't want that. No, you will have to tell okay. your answer. Like, uh, what you will do? What you will talk with the uh, security guard? You are a owner, means what you will talk with the security guard? Yes, good job, like that, sir. Huh? Okay. I mean, I I just want you people to uh, imbibe the situation in you that you think that as if you are the owner. And then talk to the security guard. Automatically, it will come. It will definitely come. Okay, there could be some spelling mistakes or words may not come, but you know how to talk and what to talk. So, like this, if you have do a role play of your situation in your factory, regularly you will be facing such problem, such situations you will be facing. I have taken an hypothetical situation, but in your in your real career you will have some issues like this. so you can take that issues do a role play we we will be doing many such role plays related to your work itself and then we will try to learn through that the language instead of you know uh, language 
we spoken language or communi write written language we will try to learn through these role play situations uh, diagrams photographs pictures like this through that we will try to learn the next course of you now 6 weeks or so is that okay to you do you do, are you with us in terms of our methodology the methodology is three things one is we will be speaking only in english we will be talking only in english no tamil no telugu or any other language second is we will have a role play we will create a situation and then we will discuss third is little bit of grammar or as and when it is required for example as uh, mr kanairam said you use direct speech he said so then you should know what is a direct speech and what is a indirect speech little bit about it if you know it will be easy for you to communicate do you agree with me sir on the back bench are you with us can we uh, proceed every class like this yes, yes sir can boys ah, that's what i wanted to know because if you know this may be a new methodology for many of us but if we can do this you will learn much faster within 10 or 15 classes you can communicate reasonably well may not be you know and that will give you a lot of confidence once you are able to communicate well you become more confident yes sir no sir yes. if you are able to communicate well you become more confident yes yeah so that is the thing which we, i think uh, today's class we will close at this if you have any queries we, we wanted to listen from you including kanairam sir is the methodology okay what is that you have in mind you can tell us so that we can you uh, know change here and there and give the right recipe to you yes. <laughs> my suggestion is uh, ah. so in this uh, example of the process try to go and little make it make the people to think correct right this, this is what more important make the people to think okay. and try to find out different uh, possible solutions yeah and to let them express okay that the expression also next so you say english through english yeah. sometime uh, uh, at this stage they may not express fully in english okay but if you have this first is that let them express whatever they think in the proper form so the solution is important let them get the mind thinking and get the solutions yeah once the solution is there then let them express in english okay so i so i think uh, i i will i will correct it this way Uh, that is uh, minute a member we will speak in english that is your topic but when it comes to role playing situation you can even say in tamil and then we will try to convert them and we will try to translate in english we will do like that convert in english because when they convey they may not able to convey the real meaning what they think in the okay. mind okay i understand i understand so uh, yeah, first is that uh, make them to think yeah. get the right solution then possible solutions possible yeah. root causes for all the uh, situations right then let them derive then express right once that expression is very clear so the communication is clear now communication you have achieved this will be good one then it's only how to communicate in english this yeah. is what matters okay so that's a we have a two goal one is improving the communication skills in english the main itself is a communication itself okay communication is a, express themselves to the receiver okay clearly the meaning yeah any other feedback from others uh, i want to listen to one or two others gentlemen and the other i think uh, madam uh, the last bench madam i think uh, you can uh, say what, what do you feel maybe you can come in front and tell me i just want to listen from the last benches so in their uh, uh, the first communication is uh, right is act in what everyone so without that we will not be able to it's not a classroom lesson classroom lesson is meant for work okay you have to write the reading you have to move the calculus or what the teacher will be writing mathematics on the board it does not work you got to involved actively you got to come out voluntarily come out and express yourself the whole thing is you cannot force other people to think on behalf of you you got right you got to think you got to come out if you are not coming out you are not going to improve your thinking capabilities if you don't have a thinking capabilities improved right you can not communicate you are a messenger right messenger is not a good communication yes madam so you got to come out in what actually in what 
Yes, madam, your feedback, okay. madam. We have another two, three minutes. Your feedback. Classes, sir. It is good. We are looking for another, some more classes, sir. Okay, definitely. No, I mean, definitely. Like, say, as long as you wish, they will keep continuing with the different aspects. Yeah, yeah. The People whole have aspect. different case studies, yeah. different yeah. situations, role plays, diagrams, etc. We will have many such uh, tools. Okay, thank you so much for all of you for uh, this patience listening. I know uh, listening is very difficult. Talking is easy, but listening is very difficult. So let's close it uh, within one hour because you may have a lot of other work to do. We will again continue on Thursday. Is it okay for you? Thursday evening. Thursday evening, 4 30. Is it okay for you? Yes. Employees? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank and uh, this this thank particular you, class video will be sent. The link will be sent to you. You just uh, replay and see uh, how uh, no, uh, whatever we have done it is uh, copied. It is uh, actually recorded. And that video will be sent in your group within uh, half an hour or one hour. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.